running for Hall Governor here in UDS and El Razo. I'm 3BS Mac from Bible City. Uh, since freshman, I was already active in ARSA. I was uh, elected as third year level head of El Razo when I was in first year. And I, when I was in second year, I run a sophomore batch rep of the batch. Um, also, I'm, it's not only ARSA that I'm part of. I'm also part of MACA, Management, uh, Management of Applied Chemistry Association. I'm a project head there. And also, uh, I'm also part of Management Economics Organization, or MECO. And I'm a project head there and a creative executive of projects like their G1 and Solstice and their Emporia. Uh, uh, when I was in third year, I'm not actually into arts because uh, I decided to go junior term abroad, JTA, in France. Uh, so I spent like six months here, but I decided to go back here and continue my service and of what I left here in arts. I really love photography. I'm into taking pictures of people I love. Of course, also people I don't know, but we eventually become friends and, you know, uh, I just love taking pictures of beautiful things. Uh, I'm all, I also like uh, going online, <laughs> Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, they're all my stuff. Uh, what else? Drawing, not so, singing and dancing, not so much, but I really love photography and that's my favorite. Honestly, I did not uh, decide to run on Hall Governor Kaagad. Uh, I was planning to run as a senior batch rep only, but then the doors opened and someone asked me if I wanted to run. And I thought about it, uh, honestly. I asked my former Hall Governors before if it was worth it, and I decided to run for Hall Governor. And I realized that I can do a lot as a Hall Governor because I've already been uh, into the two positions that the uh, Hall Governors uh, govern. Level heads and bachelors. So honestly, uh, I think I know more about the position than others. Uh, I think I'll do well and I'll serve well because I already know what to do, what needs to be done, and what I can uh, contribute to that position and to our sense of. Challenges, but one of the leadership challenges I had here in Arsa is when I became a batch rep. Uh, there's this event in Arsa called House Call, and as batch reps, we had to encourage people to join so that our batch will win. And uh, it became a hard part for me, especially that it was called the uh, Kill the King game, and it was set on a Saturday. And usually, sophomores have this Saturday class or NSTP, so we had to compromise. And so what I did is that I called everyone who's available and who doesn't have NSTP on that day and we had to know which one, who, who is free and who can contribute. So we had to text, we had to chat people, we have to ask everyone because we, we needed to know who's for the batch and who's game to win for the batch. So that's one of my videos. As in Tang Nino. But okay, Tang spells us a team of individuals that nurtures growth and understand everyone. I envision uh, Arsa to be like that a team that of individuals that uh, possesses knowledge and skills, of course. And that team of individuals uh, will nurture growth together and un will understand everyone. I want everyone to feel like they're in a one team, not in one Tang Nino, but in a team. A team of individuals that will help together to to grow. And for me, uh, I will do that by uh, doing projects that will help me and Years now, and I would like to say that I never regretted taking uh, the opportunity to go inside the doors. You know why? Because I did not only find a family; I found a team. For me, a family is. You know that the family will always be there, so there, uh, there is a chance that you'll take that for granted. But when you make ourselves a team, a team is something that you'll never leave because you know you have the same goals. And these goals, you'll grow them together. And for me, I'm proud to be an Arsene because we are one team and also a family. We love each other 
and I'm so happy that when I'm tired from school, I can just go back here and just be happy because I know that there are people for me who will take care of me and love me for who I am.